don't know why There's no sun up in the skies Stormy weather Since my man and I ain't together Keeps raining all the time Good morning everyone. So we are here in Seoul Forest. Sorry if it's a little noisy. There's a leaf blower going on behind me. It's not raining right now as you can see, but it's just a really gloomy day. It rained all night. We might get thunderstorms later today. Um, it's just like really one of those gloomy, wonderful spring days. So I'm actually going to go to a cafe. Seoul is just like in such a weird place where you're totally allowed to be going out. It's discouraged to be in groups like large groups or places that are crowded, but a lot of places aren't crowded. I'm gonna get a cup of coffee and just look out the window at this wonderful blustery day. The air is so clear. Everything has that like just rained upon smell. You know what I'm talking about? They're lilacs. Let's continue exploring and get me some coffee. Life is bare, gloom and misery everywhere. So one thing I especially love about, well, I love this about any city, but in Seoul, I guess it's more apparent because their seasons are like very clearly defined, unlike in where I'm from in San Diego. But like this road looks very barren, nothing too exciting. But I know that during autumn, it is mind blowing. I don't know, that's just something that I find really cool is that if you have lived somewhere for over a year, chances are you like really know the city's secrets. I think I posted on Instagram, but there's this like lilac bush that I really love. And like the other three seasons of the year, I love walking past the park and just knowing, like I have this little secret, like I know that that tree, that bush is actually a lilac tree. I appreciate the seasons a lot here. Someone is playing the piano. Wonderful. Stormy weather. I just can't get my poor old self together. Keeps raining all the time. When you went away, the blues walked in and met me. If he stays away, all the rocking chairs. Will get me. All I do is pray that the Lord above will let me walk in the sun once more. Oh no, can't go. Okay, what on earth? So basically, I come here all the time, but I never walk into these houses because I figure it's like, okay. I figure it's like, you know, their private property, but there was this amazing cherry blossom tree. So I went down there and I took a few pictures and there was this man like s sitting in his garden, I guess it was. And he saw me taking pictures and he laughed and he's like, where are you from? And then I started walking away and all of a sudden he's like, hey, 
girl, come here. <laughs> and he goes into his house and he's like, come here. I'm like, no. Um, but as you saw, he just gave me this massive bag of bread. And that's that. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing more to say. Just how we come here. And I like, I didn't know how to speak to him because he was speaking to me in English, but I was speaking in Korean. I don't know. That was all just so funny, but wow. Okay. Successful day in the neighborhood, I guess. <laughs> There's an illustration, exhibition, what, is, what was the word that they used? Exhibit? <laughs> On the third floor. Let's go. Everything in that gallery was really pretty, so I'm gonna buy a poster. And they were so nice. Um, but I needed cash, so I got cash, and now we're going back to get my poster. <laughs> I officially have no hands to film with anymore. I have bread, I have umbrella, I have art poster. Um, so I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I kind of freed up my hands. So yes, I got a poster, and he gave me a free sticker, and I got to pet a Shiba and it was great so yeah i'll put the information down below but the artist's name was noma and um the gallery is only open until april 26th but um so i hope that you can go they were really serious about the virus they um when i first came in they had me use hand sanitizer and then put on gloves and then he took my temperature and then they made me write down like my goo, like where I live, and then my phone number, so that if they were to find anyone who went here, they could call everybody who's been and let them know. Got a little break in the rain, and I'm gonna head home. So I'll show you the print that I got when I get there. Okay, lunchtime. So I'm a little conflicted about this bread. I know that like in general you shouldn't accept food from strangers, but especially during this time, um, something that you cannot sanitize, I don't think I'm going to eat it, but I feel really bad because it's wasteful. But also this is definitely the patty baguette, like old bread. They tie up all the old bread and they sell it cheaper the next day because it's going bad. So that makes me feel a little better, but I also, oh man. I don't want to be wasteful, but I just don't know if it's the safest choice. But anyway, for lunch, um, we made rice the other day and we ended up not eating it. So we just have a ton of rice in our refrigerator and kind of old dry rice is really good to make bokumbap fried rice. So I'm going to make some kimchi fried rice. That's the plan. Okay. My stomach is literally growling. Oh my God. Kimchi, egg, garlic, onions, oil in there, a lot of oil in there. I'm just gonna straight up put these in. It's probably not the best choice, but they're frozen, so oops. Kurt is really obsessed with these. We got these at Ikea. They just pop on. to watch from up on poppy hill is that what it's called um i've actually never seen that movie before i just really want to watch kiki but i feel like i should watch something new yeah 
I'm gonna watch from up on Poppy Hill. So, am I focused? Yes. So, I am watching um, from up on Poppy Hill, and they're using the song Sukiyaki. And the only reason that I know this song, it was like one of the first like non-English language songs to really blow up in the United States. And the only reason I know this is because when I was my final year in university, I was an intern for Warner Music. My boss was really awesome and on my last day of work, she somehow got me an interview, or not an interview, but just like a meeting with Seymour Stein, who I saw all the time around the office. But if you don't know who he is, he's basically like this weird mastermind for music he's the one who like signed madonna he's like in his late 80s he still comes to work every single day okay so i'm editing this video and i just looked up seymour stein's age and he is definitely currently only 77 years old which means that in 2014 he was nowhere near 90 as i am saying and i feel so bad he also like discovered kyari pamu pamu like he's hip he just like understands music trends and so this was when this was in 2014 so k-pop was starting to get a little more recognition in the states and i wanted to talk to him about that and then like the k indie scene and stuff like that so anyway i ended up getting a meeting with him which was wild and it felt like a moment in my life that just felt like it was out of a movie because i walked in and he is like angrily dictating an email to his assistant and i just had to sit in this chair in like the middle of his office like his corner office overlooking like new york city i think we started talking about j-pop or something because i also studied in japan and all of a sudden he just starts singing this song sukiyaki to me because i said oh I, I didn't i didn't know that song or something and he just like if you can picture this like monumentally important man has a cane he's an intimidating being sitting behind his big desk you're sitting in this tiny chair in this giant room and he just starts singing Ooh, like sukiyaki like this japanese song from the 60s to you um yeah it was weird and so every time i hear that song i'm like taken back to this like if my life was a movie that scene would be in there because it was just unbelievable. And then, yeah, that was my last day. Anyway, that was like a super weird story, but they're playing Sukiyaki like multiple times in this film. So um, I'm just having like these violent flashbacks to Seymour Stein. Anyway, um, I'm gonna keep watching because it's really good and I can't believe that I haven't seen it yet. So let's go. <laughs> rainy day it is so beautiful the air is so clear but um, I'm gonna study but in order to do that I need to get a bigger lined notebook so I'm here at Kyobo because um, there's like an art box and just like a general stationery store in the basement so I'm gonna go there get myself a really good notebook and then we're just gonna study great <laughs>
about them. Okay, update, she looked so sad before, but now with a little water and sunshine, she's back, baby. Greetings, now it is coffee time. We have this Edia coffee, instant coffee that um, I'm not endorsing, but we just, we have it for some reason. This looks weak. I have round ice cubes. I got these from Hay. They have one in Korea now. Actually, I think I got these in San Diego. What does Kanelboda mean? Check the taste. Check the saltiness. Check the saltiness. I think maybe because mine isn't cold enough yet. Ah, I spilled so much water. Whoa, my mask looks insane, I'm so sorry. Yeah, we're just here for a walk down by the Tunga Tun. It's raining, it's a beautiful day. And um, as you can see, it's pretty much super empty. So Seoul extended the social distancing for another two weeks, um, which is fine, <laughs> safe, whatever. I think we're gonna have a quiet, quiet end of the weekend and uh, probably head home soon because it's kind of cold. But uh, yeah, it was just really nice to be near water and trees. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> So I wanted to end this video on kind of an exciting note. If you remember at the beginning of this month, um, I did a little week long fundraiser on my dark room, which is a site where I sell my film prints, my film photography. So I was going to donate anything that I got from sales for that week. And I had tagged dark room in the Instagram story I posted and they got back to me and mind you, this is like, they're like a two person team, I'm pretty sure. And they were like, hey, um, we'll donate any of the, the fees because they take out a small fee for the shipping and stuff like that. So just by ourselves for the week, we raised $590.87. And this was gonna be, this is going to Feeding America. Um, so I thought like that by itself was huge and I'm so thankful and it's amazing. Um, and then I contacted Darkroom to say, hey, like we're ready for those fees. And they did something I was not expecting. And instead of just giving us the fees for that week of sales, um, which would have been just 15% of the like almost $600, which is still a great amount of money. They gave me back all of the fees 
from any sale I've ever made. And I've been on Darkroom for a while and I've sold quite a few prints. So they sent me $394.65, which is mind blowing. So that means that in total, we raised um, $985.52. And when I told my parents, they were nice enough to say, round it up, we'll send you 15 bucks make it an even 1,000. So thanks to Mama and Papa Cakes. Uh, we're making today, in a few minutes, once I finish filming this, um, I'm gonna get online and donate $1,000 to Feeding America, which is incredible. And thank you guys so much to anyone who bought a print. I know that um, shipping is really expensive for other countries, so I totally understand if you, if you couldn't. Um, it's just, currently, that's the only way that I can sell my prints right now. Yeah, just thank you so, so much. That is really mind-blowing. I did not, I did not, like the $600 was mind-blowing enough. Thank you so much. I hope that we can kind of do this again. Um, and I'm glad that not only did we raise money, but you guys got something out of it too, which is really great. And um, if you're still in the giving mood, this isn't sponsored, but Wish Trend is actually doing a fundraiser. They do this every year for a different animal organization um, because they're really committed to being cruelty free. I'll link it down below, but they're actually, they have like a, a let us be like eco-friendly kit. Um, so basically you get the sunblock, which I love and I need to stock up on. Um, but there's also like an eco bag and like a water bottle holder and a handkerchief for your pet. And also, um, I'm not sure how long it's on. It might be the whole month, at least until April 26th. If you use, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here, guys. Um, if you use the code let us be, um, you'll get 10% off anything on Wish Trend. I think it's it's always good to try and help out if you're gonna buy something you need anyway, like some blocks. So yeah, um, definitely check out Wish Trend's current fundraiser. And yeah, thank you guys so much. That was like just very, very cool that we could do that, that we could pull together. I think like little $10 donations can seem kind of not worthless, but you know, doesn't do a whole lot. But if you look at it in the grand scheme of things, we raised $1,000 um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty wild. So thank you guys so much. Um, I'm really excited to go send that money over. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the few kind of gloomy rainy days. It is intensely windy out today. Um, so I'm probably just gonna stay inside and finish my chores. I've got a pile of laundry staring at me. So um, I, will, I will catch you guys later. I hope you guys are staying safe. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.